Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about, boom, these guys right here just launched the second generation Echo Buds from Amazon. Uh, these guys, I got them a few days ago and I've been testing them out. I wanted to give them a good thorough testing before doing this comparison. So we're going to walk you through some of the features of these guys and uh, we're gonna compare them to Apple's, of course, Apple's AirPods, but I also wanna throw in a few references to AirPods Pro. Uh, but considering the price point, we're gonna really focus on the AirPods here. But yeah, comparing the second gen Echo Buds versus Apple's uh, AirPods, little AirPods Pro. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So let's nail down some of the basics first. Echo Buds, these guys come in two different configurations and there's both a white and a black version of each. So the white version and the black one, they start off at $119.99, 120 bucks. But if you want the wireless charging case, which I would generally recommend, you're bumping up to, I believe, $160, $159.99 for the wireless charging enabled case. The thing with the wireless charging is I think it makes it extremely convenient because you just set these things down and don't worry about them. You don't have to plug them into the USB-C port on the back you set them down and you're good to go. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to keep them charged because I find myself walking in, setting stuff down, and then going on about my day. When I have to plug things in, it's a super minor thing, but it's just the habit of setting down like keys and headphones and moving on. But when I have to get out a cord and plug it in and do stuff like that, I do it every few days. Uh, and I think it's better to keep these topped off as much as possible. So I really think it's worth getting the wireless charging case, whether you're looking at the Galaxy Buds or the Apple AirPods. AirPods also come with a regular version for 160, 159, uh, but 200 bucks if you want the wireless charging case. So Apple's doing the same thing here, just a basic version without wireless charging and then a slightly higher price tag for the one with a wireless charging case. So keep that in mind as you're shopping for either of these sets of earbuds. So the Echo Buds second generation, a pretty standard with a lot of the things. So they come with a USB-C cable in the box and they charge via USB-C, unless of course you got that wireless charging case. They come with several sets of replaceable silicone ear tips. And I like that they actually make them color coded on the inside. So it makes it easy to understand which one you're looking at. From the outside, they all look the same, but if you look at the backs, they are color coded. So you're making sure you're matching the sizes together. Unless of course you get two different sized ears and you can pick and choose, but it does make it easy to make sure you're picking out the same size silicone ear tips for each of your earbuds. Um, they fit into the case very easily, so they charge up in the case. There is a slight Amazon logo on the outside, like the Amazon Smile logo. I don't love it. I don't like a lot of branding on things, and uh, they at least put the branding on the bottom of the case so you don't see it there, but it is white, like a light gray on the white of the earbuds, and the black is very similar, like a dark black on like the gray kind of look. Uh, it's not terrible, but you still have an Amazon logo on your ear. They come with IPX4 water resistance. So that is the same as Apple's AirPods Pro. These also have the IPX4 water resistance rating, which is not a ton. It's not a lot of sweat proofing or waterproofing or anything like that. So I wouldn't really recommend working out with either of these guys. They'd probably withstand it, but I'd go something a little bit more protective if you are regularly working out with either of these. Apple, of course, has the Beats line, the Power Beats Pro and all of that that are more geared towards the sweat and the resistance side of things. Even the rumored, new uh, Power Beats Buds. So a lot of stuff there to, to kind of consider if you're looking for a workout friendly set of earbuds. Um, but the regular AirPods, these don't have the IPX4 rating. So these are even less resistant than the, Gal the Echo Buds are. So battery life, Echo Buds, they are promising five hours with ANC on and up to six and a half hours with ANC off. Now, if you look at the AirPods, AirPods are saying about five hours on a single charge. If you look at the cumulative time of the earbuds themselves, plus the battery in the case, you're looking at about 19 and a half hours from the Echo Buds. And AirPods, these guys boast over 24 hours, including what is in the case. So Apple is definitely winning here in total cumulative battery life for their headphones. And they're pretty similar when it comes to what you're getting um, with them just in your ears, about five or so hours for each of them, though these go a little bit longer if you're turning that A and C off. So the biggest difference between the Echo Buds 
and the AirPods is going to be noise cancellation and the style of buds they are and how they fit in your ear. So AirPods, you guys have seen these, you know how they look, they know how to fit in your ear. They basically go into your ear, like backwards here, and they drop down like this. This is the look that you've got with AirPods on. Um, it's not a super tight fit in general, like it's a little bit airy, and because of that, you're gonna have issues with sound quality. It's not terrible, these do sound good, but it's not a tight seal on your ear, for better or for worse. When you look at the Echo Buds, these are more of a traditional earbud style. They go into your ear more, you know, typically, they're kind of like a rounded drum, uh, and they fit into your ear like this so it's more it's smaller has a smaller profile on the outside it doesn't stick out all too much but that's the kind of look that we're going for with the echo buds they do create a better seal in your ear which i think actually improves the audio quality in general just by blocking out more outside noise for regular airpods apple offers no anc whatsoever so they just you know regular earbuds whereas these guys for 120 dollars have some pretty outstanding ANC. The active noise cancellation here is really good, especially for the price point. I'm like shocked how good it is. So they're undercutting AirPods in price and offering active noise cancellation. There's also a pass-through audio mode, which worked as well, uh, so you can hear more ambient noise around you, which is helpful if you're walking in the city and you wanna make sure you're aware of your surroundings and you don't want ANC on all the time and then get hit by a bus or something, something terrible like that. So they do have that transparency mode or pass through audio mode on here just to make sure you can hear what's going on around you. As far as controls go, so Apple controls AirPods with tapping gestures. So you can put them in your ear and you can tap and tap uh, to skip songs and stuff like that. If you're looking at AirPods Pro, they have the four stems that you can squeeze to control playback or audio or anything like that. So that is how AirPods are controlled, whereas the Echo Buds, these guys instead use tapping gestures or long holds on the outside. So you can use that to control your playback as well as one customizable gesture that you can use to do different things like switch modes, uh, toggle, Amazon mute, anything like that. Now, speaking of Amazon and its famed assistant, I'm gonna try to avoid saying Amazon Assistant's name here. But these do have, you know, Amazon's Assistant built in. And if you are a fan of Amazon's Assistant, then these really may be the choice for you. Because wherever you are, when you're not in your home, or even in your home, you can do anything with... Blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I mean, Amazon gives you a few different examples, but anything... That, so, playing music, um, starting a workout, uh, calling people... Uh, anything like that, but you can also control your smart home devices, set timers, anything that you can do with Amazon's Assistant, you can now do through your earbuds. So it's a really handy ability if you were already baked into the Amazon ecosystem, you have a bunch of Echo devices through your home. Um, for people who don't like Amazon's Assistant, you don't have to use her, it. Uh, you can completely disable it or just you know leave it muted. That's always a possibility as well if you just prefer the ANC and the, uh, the sound quality of the buds themselves. For what it's worth, for privacy reasons, Amazon's Assistant is never listening to you until you hear, it hears the keyword, its name, and when it does hear that phrase, then you'll hear a tone audibly letting you know that it's actively listening to you and carrying something out. So you won't have it listening to you in the case or uh, other than that keyword. So you do get an audio tone to let you know when its microphones are engaged and actively listening to you. But still, you have to trust Amazon. They're not trying to do anything fishy uh, by listening to you all the time with a set of earbuds. In terms of audio, quality looking at the Echo Buds and the Apple AirPods. Echo Buds win by a landslide. It is not even comparable for $120. These have no business sounding as good as they do. Now they're not as good as, you know, if we're being really uh, cumulative here or being fair, they're not nearly as good as AirPods Pro. AirPods Pro are still on top, but these also cost, what, $250, $260 for AirPods Pro versus the, you know, down to a 120 for the Echo Buds. So for 120 bucks, these sound amazing. They definitely sound better than regular AirPods. They have a better seal, they have better water resistance, they have the um, you know, assistant built in, though these do have Siri built in. So, but these don't have the hands-free. You still have to say it with near your phone and stuff like that. But regardless, these hold their own 
exceptionally well compared to Apple's own earbuds. They undercut on price and they sound better. They're fuller, richer. They block out more outside noise as well as having ANC in there. Uh, if you're just looking for the best set between these two, I, you know, I almost hate to say it, but the Echo Buds second generation win by a landslide. It is not comparable at all. These do have a lot of Apple magic in, which I think is what a lot of people are looking for. So AirPods, you have all the Apple magic that you'd expect. So you've got things like spatial audio uh, coming to Apple Music soon. Those are gonna work with regular AirPods, that 3D sound that completely goes around you these are gonna work with that while the Echo Buds may not. So that's a big difference I think people are gonna care about. These also have just the easy effortless pairing. They sync with all your Apple devices. You can control via control center. There's audio sharing to go to a, uh, two sets of these guys at the same time. Uh, they can effortlessly go up to your Apple TV. Just a lot of benefits like that with Apple's AirPods that you wouldn't get with a third party solution. So it depends on what you're looking for. If you want the Apple magic, you know, the, the status that comes with AirPods, or if you just want a better sounding one for a little less money, these are definitely a solid option to consider. So the wireless earbud market has continued to grow. You've got a lot of option now. Which one is best? It's really hard to say. I would say AirPods Pro is still the best, the most expensive. The Echo Buds, I think, beat the regular AirPods for their price and the features. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU what you think about all three of these headphones and which one you would pick if you were choosing you know, for the first time or again right now. Let me know at Andrew underscore OSU, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.